Time now to go through our shortlist for the race meeting on Wednesday at Hollywood Bets Gravel on the Poly Track, 21 April. This is what, uh, these are the horses that Graham and I believe really need serious consideration. It's just a suggestion. And before I go on, Graham, just very interestingly, slightly off the topic, when in Gauteng with you last week, I bumped into many punters who thoroughly enjoy the shortlist. And the message is getting out there that these are only opinions. At the end of the day, the final decision rests with the punters. And uh, all our colleagues that present and, and do analysis of races throughout the country, it's an opinion. And I'm glad that that message is getting out there because at the end of the day, the, opinion, the, the final decision rests with the punter. Absolutely, the punter takes responsibility for his own selections, but obviously, clearly, these are hopefully informed opinions Absolutely. and based on some form of logic. And I have to say that uh, our strike rate, uh, our strike rate since introducing the shortlist is, is is not perfect, obviously, but it's not too bad. Okay, lovely. Let's move on then. My screen, uh, my shortlist is up on screen. Getting a little tongue twisted here. There it is. Suggested place accumulator bankers. Race three, number ten, decorated. Who is my First choice in the race, but uh, by no means a good thing. But I, in saying all of that, I'd be quite surprised if he can't run into the first three. Race four, number six, Intuitive. Another suggested place accumulator bank. I like this filly. Uh, she's going to go the mile, which I think she'll relish. Form line of her last run is good. She's quite a, a progressive individual and I like her. And again, same scenario. I'd be quite shocked if she can't run in the first three. Then we go to race five, number eight, Elzmir, who is my suggested pick six and jackpot banker as well. So Graham and I are quite big on Shane Humby's horse, Elzmir. And then we move on to the horses to watch out for. Race two, number one, Indo Marvel for Garth Puller. On the Hollywood Syndicate, Niall Hewitson, gate one, improving with racing. I think that this filly is gonna go very, very close. Race six, number one, here and after. Encouraged that Anton Marcus is stuck with this horse and Comnadu's runner, I believe, and Graham too believes that she'll give you a big run for your money. Race seven, number four, Via Solaria in what looks to be the best race on the card. Via Solaria, Lion's Head and Look for Hounds. We're gonna watch out for Via Solaria. I think uh, he's uh, certainly going to make uh, his presence felt is Dennis Dreyer's horse, son of Trippy. Uh, one for one on the poly. So that's my short list. Graham, over to you. Take it away. Let's have a look what you believe should be on the short list. Thank you, Warren. And we start off, as always, with our suggested place accumulator bankers. The first leg of the PA's race to get a banker number seven, Diamonds and Toads. Not really expecting any upsets. The place accumulator could be uh, a two-horse race between Let's Not Linger and Diamonds and Toads. Third race. I consider number eight Mystic Master to perhaps be the best bet on the card, so certainly a place accumulator banker. And like, what, like you, Warren, in race five, I'm happy to bank a number eight, Olsmere. Suggested bipod and pick six bankers. Uh, race one, number nine, Chalima as a bipod banker. And my suggested pick six banker. First leg, number eight Mystic Master. Clearly, it does have decorated to beat, but I'm confident that Mystic Master will rise to the occasion. Then three horses to watch out for. In the uh, fourth race, number eight, Alfonso Baby, I think offers very good each way value. Healthy respect for the key horses in the race, intuitive and perfect princess. They do set the standard, but I think Alfonso Baby has got to be included in Trifectus Quartets and offers some each way value. Like you, number, number four, Via Solaria in race seven, the best race on the card, as you've mentioned, comes up against two talented three-year-olds in the form of Lion's Head and Look for Hounds. Via Solaria comes back from Cape Town. The Dennis Dry runners that uh, have returned from the Cape are in good form. And I'm expecting a big run from number four, Via Solaria. Make sure you don't leave it out of your exotic play. And then my Ruffy for the day is in the eighth race, number 10, Susie Wu. Currently at 10 to one, was desperately unlucky in her last start not to finish a lot closer to beat it. Once again, I do have healthy respect for beat it. Uh, she could certainly account for this field again. But Susie Wu is my outsider player of the day in the eighth and final race. So that's our short list, Warren and I. And as usual, happy hunting at Hollywood Bets Gravel on Wednesday, the 21st of April.